I'm actually really glad that you're here. We're doing a sponsored game today. The game is called Frog Detective. It looks adorable. I don't know if there's voice acting in it. If there's not, don't worry, because uh, I will act out every single one of them with different voices and everything. About this game, play as a detective in this thrilling mystery of the haunted island. Meet a kooky cast of characters with clues and quests to help on your way. A small, sm a small sloth has been haunted for weeks by a mysterious ghost that nobody can seem to track down. There's mystery afoot, and the only one who can solve it is the renowned investigator known simply as the detective. Finding clues and questioning suspects is just part of the job for such an experienced frog, but this case is a tough fly to catch. Mystery and frog, sign me up. All right, let's start. Already loving the music, okay. Look at how cute this already is. Look at this, the faces. The faces are just everything for me. The music! Da -da 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 -da. Inspector Gadget. That's kind of kind of sounds like a little bit. Let's go. Oh, look at him walking. He looks so cute. He's got no neck because he's a frog. Look around using the mouse. You move using Wazda. Oh, there is no voice acting. Sweet, I love that for me. Okay, hello, who is it? I'm trying to be Kermit the Frog. It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. <laughs> Hi, how's life? Yeah, it's pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Oh, oh my God, is that your wife over there? Or is that your wife? Is Mike Wazowski your wife? <laughs> or is this corn looking thing? <laughs> what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for ya. Cool. It's some pretty spooky ones. I hold on tight. I'm holding on. So get this. Hey, hi, it's a team of ghost scientists. Oh, scientists. Scientists. They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. <laughs> but Lobster Cop wasn't available. Oh, burn shots friggin' fire. Oh, I fully understand Lobster Cop's ability for far outweighs my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. <laughs> Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing, the basics are, there's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of them, he pauses a bunch of ghost silences, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? <laughs> because that's the title of this case. Fear enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. A frog Detective Adventure. Froggy, soundtrack by Dan Golding. He's going across a pond. He's got a magnifying glass, just ever so delicately placed in his little flipper. I don't know what frogs have. He's going to Destiny Island. You just hear Sora just like running in the background. Ha! 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 Mo the mouse mouse. <laughs> Hello! Bernie. Hey guys. Fresh eggs. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. And the rest? Oh my god, this is so good already. Case number one The Haunted Island. Maybe a man in a suit? Is that what that says? Does that say maybe a man in a suit? It does. Um. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> what would you like to know? Uh, the resident? I guess that. I don't know. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, oh, that would be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Ha <laughs> ha I think he'll come back later. See you around. If you find any bananas, let me know. Uh, I guess we need to go talk to Larry. Hi, Larry. Look at me. Hey, it's me, Larry. Are you gonna ask me questions? Ask me them, and the questions I mean. Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Well, how do we get in the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get there and there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, Detective, and none of this is safe. <laughs> I don't know, I need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pit bone, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then? Just the standard explosive recipe. 
Yes, if you want to get into that camp, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. God, the, the, the fact that you can like zoom in on them and their faces and they don't blink. Um, terrifying. Ooh, snack. Um, but it's not mine. Wait, why can't we just take it? This is what we need. That's the pasta. Excuse me, sir. I need your pasta. Hey, you're the detective, right? The one that the monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I mean, that's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really should have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? <laughs> the job listing said go scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? For its bugs. You got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could he, a secret agent, not know that? Oh my god, what the f are you? Can I take this bug? Come on! Howdy, easy, uh... Yep. Great, you brought my toothpaste shipment? Uh, no, I'm the detective. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you, I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile, 101 tooth whitening. Cool paste for teeth, of course. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do you have teeth? Um, do frogs have teeth? Um, well, I can give you my tooth. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Why are you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Well, um, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. I love the way that they're sitting with each other. They're just like, hey, hey, <laughs> this looks like a date. Like, what is that koala doing? Excuse me, sir? Um, that piece of paper, is that a piece of paper or a shell? If it's a piece of paper and you're rubbing it in water, I'm gonna let you know right now, this is gonna be bad for business. What are you doing in there? Swimming. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is out there. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. May I ask why you're so si- oh sh Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. <laughs> why would you think a shell is magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? How long have you been in the water? Maybe two weeks, oh my god, you've taken a piss and a shit in there. I pee peed and poo pooed, not at the same time in the water. It's very contaminated, I wouldn't drink any of it. It's very gross all around me. Don't look at my underwear. I think this one is my favorite. There's a magnet, take it. This might come in handy. I got a magnet. This is a lamb, so I'm just gonna be a little sheep. Hey. How's it ringing? Fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't say I'm just suspicious. It's supposed to be a lamb. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I feel you, Noodle. I feel you. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. Ugh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean up with. Like a broom or like fire. Um, okay. I guess I need to find like a broom. There's something right there. I see it. It's a cricket with a face on it. Whose face is that? Um. Ah, stop right there. <laughs> Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Okay, I won't. We can't be sure. That <laughs> Man, that one is hard to do. I don't know if I can keep that up. Are ducks nasally? Maybe I'll just be nasally. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? Oh, I guess. Please be careful. I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. S rude. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I can get one, sure, this magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see any big shells around here, do you? 
Hmm. I think that's, I think I know exactly what I need to do. Move aside. Squish, squish, break, squish. Ha 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 ha. Look at this little guy. I love these little things. These are hilarious. Sir, I will talk to you later. Oh, oh my God, you see that? Um, who the heck was Humpty Dumpty staring at? Excuse me, sir? Excuse me, sir? I brought you a magnet. What? Like a real one? Are you fucking for real? This is a dream come true. Thank you. Thank you so much. In return, I'll give you this big shit. I got a shell. Sweet. Okay, let's give it back. There you go. Huh. Always asking questions. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. In that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass and look at tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I have a spear magnifying glass if you're interested. Here you go. That's a weird way to word that. Heck yeah! Got some pasta. Hey, I got that broom. Yes, amazing! Thanks, Detective! Can I keep this broom? I spit everywhere. Absolutely! Wait, I got wool. Alright, I don't know what that means. I don't know if anyone needed wool. She's just sweeping up! I love it. Okay. Hi! Hello! Are you okay? Yes! Are you sure? If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. This hurts. You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Um, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you afraid of me? each other fine you wore me down damn your extreme detective skills i'm nervous because of mystery monkey mystery monkey's a huge fan of your blog so i don't want to make a fool of myself in front of him i just think mystery monkey is super neat and i don't want to be embarrassing in a case i mess everything up there's a dance coming competition coming up tomorrow i want to compete and show mystery monkey that i'm good at dancing but i don't know what style of dance will impress them could you ask them and find out i'll give you this mouthwash you need a, if you need a break in the voice acting, oh, I will. I don't think I'm okay. I, I figured out a custom pitch, so maybe we'll try that. What's in the bottle next to you? That's my mouse wash mouth wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance Mr. Monkey likes best. Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm a frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine, I guess. Just don't look so spooky. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? Who looks like a mole? This? This is a sloth. Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few weeks. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? 
I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from ghosts. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on except for the mystery of how to put on a hat. <laughs> My head is a strange shape. Wanna give you something as a thing? Perhaps a piece of my crown? I got a chunk of pure gold? I'll figure it out as I go. Hey, so uh, you uh, you like dancing and um, dance styles? What kind of dancing do you like the best? But like, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? Well, um, break dancing? <laughs> That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. <laughs> I got a monkey fact. Oh. I have your fact. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. I got to start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's a mouthwash before I forget. A mouthwash. All right, sweet. Here you go. I got your mouthwash. I forgot the voice we gave this guy. Ugh. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, Team Tech. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow, you have everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yep. Time to blow this up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry, time to clear for me, bird. Let's go. Scratch! Oh no! <laughs> well, let's turn into a horror game real quick. Hello? What the f? I'm getting seduced right now. Who are you? Oh my god, I look so scared! Are you, you a good ghost? What? I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm, yeah. That's great! Uh, who are you? Finley, who are you? The detective! Howdy! Wait a minute, Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. Detective was ready to beat him up? Really? Because the detective looks scared as sh**. How long have you been down here? Uh, geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Haha, <laughs> luckily I have all these mushrooms to keep me sane. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all around the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Uh, I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could have easily traveled up to the surface. I bet it sounded super warm, too. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. But my ghost books, I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It goes to show you never should trust books. Anyway, use the internet instead. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there's context in which books can very easily be useful and informative. It's important to check with the validity and the author's resources and to check if the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting information from a trusted site. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Anyway, I was saying books have no place in our society. <laughs> Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today then. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. So shall we boogie? 
Let's go. Oh my god, they're all freaking boogie. I love this. Wait, is that the end of the game? Look at them all go. Look at the one in the back break dancing. Get it, Larry. Love that. This is so good. This was cute. Okay, I think we practice enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Do we even see him? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get it. Yeah, get it. Oh, Mo? This is adorable. Is that like a zombie? Is that the thriller? Are you serious right now? Are you doing the thriller right now? I don't know. I'm thinking Sir Quaxalot has the best rhythm. Finley, is, his dance is more... There's a lot of hip thrusts. Oh, my, wow, you were really tall. <laughs> I don't know, who do we think? Who wins? I don't know if you can actually vote, but... Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, the little mashed potato mambo. I get it. Oh, I got actually a good amount of rhythm. Look at my no neck dance. I don't know. Who do we think is the winner? I don't know. Does it make a difference? I hate when I have to pick something. I'm horrible at picking. I feel like Finley was in there working his ass off for two weeks, only eating mushrooms. I feel like he deserves to win. I don't think he was the best dancer, but I feel like he deserves to win. I can have that face too, you know? I picked a winner. I got an achievement for that. I feel like I'm in a children's thing where I'm like, goodbye, goodbye, see you next week. Goodbye. A little bit later. Ooh, okay. Look at us all dancing. I love it. Detective crime solving agency, frog detective speaking. How may I help you? Great work on the haunted island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't even think Lobster Cop could have solved that one. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Ah, can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in in case of the invisible wizard. I love it. This is adorable. It was just a fun like pick me up. It was honestly, I needed that today. Uh, just something fun and not something that is just like, you know, didn't really take that much effort. It was just a fun game to kind of get me out of my head and bring me a couple laughs. So like, look, I'm into it. I like games like this. There's this one, there's the wizard one, and then the third one is the corruption at Cowboy Country. But this was fun. Thank you for playing this game and hanging out with me for a little bit. Love you all. Good night. Sleep tight. Wash your hands.